the single day that can make or break this entire project. Inspection day. Fired up beautifully. Here we go. Just a short time ago, my dad and I drove across the province of Newfoundland to pick up a nearly 50-year-old 1976 GMC Vandura 3500. The Vandura came in many different forms, but this particular model came off the factory as a camper. Now our plan is to build this RV into a heavy hauler, one-ton flatbed truck. Now this particular day is a day that can make or break this entire project. A 50-year-old RV that has spent its life on a province in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, salt laden, is a recipe for problems. We did our own rough inspection on the Vandura, and while there are no big glaring issues, you never know what professional mechanics can find once they raise that vehicle up on the lift. Problems like chassis issues or structural damage can become apparent that you were just not able to see on your own, and those types of things can render this whole vehicle, this whole project, useless. Done. Off we go guys, the first road trip, real road trip. Dad's waved me down the first road trip since our big, big shutdown. Down on empty. What do you mean? Down empty. How empty? Touching the red mark. Is there gas light on? You're good, Dad. Here we go, guys. The first road trip since the big shutdown, the big breakdown debacle. We've done a little bit of going around town. But this will be the first long run. We'll see how it does. Hoping for the best, man. We need this one. Oil pressure's good. We don't have to go on the Trans Canada or anything, so we're not going to be up to any high speeds. The fastest road we'll be on today is 80 kilometers an hour. It's still losing itself like it was on that run. I don't know why it wasn't doing it around town. I don't know what the difference is. So we did run it up to speeds. We did lay into it. But it's, uh, it's bucking. It's dropping. Man, very disappointing. I'll keep pushing it, but... I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do it. Now, unlike before, it's not completely losing it. It's just dropping and it'll catch itself. Dropping and it'll catch itself. I'll keep pushing it. We're not on Trans Canada, so it's not a, not a huge issue today. Just an update. It's about 10 minutes later. Running beautifully. Haven't had any trouble since. Hasn't dropped RPM since. Smooth, strong. Up hills, down hills. Everything seems good. Man, I got a nervous stomach today. Nervous stomach thinking about this inspection, hoping it goes well. Hoping the trip there and back goes well. I just I don't I don't want much trouble. Still rolling man! So I believe we've got a fuel pulling issue. It seems it, it has bucked or dropped RPM once since, and it was going up uh, again a long grade where it was really asking for a lot of fuel. See, we're going up a long grade here now. It just did it again. I believe it's starving for fuel, I think. As you know, we haven't overhauled the fuel system yet. 
the, the large fuel canister. I haven't even found that yet. So we're going to see if we can get one today. We might have to order one in. We've got to get the fuel system on this thing straightened out. It's been running great, except for when you ask it for a lot of fuel. I guess it's just not there. She's grabbing for it, but it's not there. You slack off, it'll, it seems to ease. My heart sinks every time. <laughs> Emotional roller coaster. A lot of hills in this section of the trip we're on now. Oh boy, here is the scary part we've been worried about. Raising up on that lift for the first time, exposed, vulnerable to the world. Once the crew got started, I had a feeling they didn't need my expertise anymore, so Dad and I went to run a few errands. While we were out, the crew at Dempsey's Mechanical really dug into this vehicle 
and gave it a tight inspection. And now it's time for the scary part, the verdict. big moment has passed the nerve-wracking man I've had a pit in my stomach all day but Dempsey's Mechanical took care of us here phenomenal service we have a couple little things to do that we'll talk about at home but they actually sponsored this whole inspection so I really really appreciate the service if you can go support companies like this that support small business guys like myself Just leaving the town of Baber here now, guys. Just finished putting some gas in the in Dad's truck, or my truck, the F-150 there. I am just overwhelmed with the support for this project. You guys, the viewers, have been watching and commenting and liking and sharing so diligently. The sponsors, the business sponsors like Dempsey's there, and you'll hear soon about some other ones that have come on board to help support the project. Just incredible support, overwhelming how the amount of kindness and the, the good quality businesses that are out there is just uh, something else. So, leaving now, a 45 minute drive, could be a little bit longer than this thing, to get back home, and then, we've got some work to do. Man, this thing is running like a dream. Smooth, power, Great, we just came up the worst hill for the entire drive home, a long haul, and it just ran beautifully. No bucking, no spitting. Classic. <laughs> Listen to that motor. Even just running this engine more and more should help. Just get everything turning, everything heavily oiled. The more fuel I cycle through with that sea foam in it, should just keep getting better and better.
just arrived back to its home. Just listen to that engine run. That is the smoothest yet. It's just happy to be. There's the just behind me. <laughs> That's it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Actually, Dad and I had a lot more planned to come home from the inspection and do a lot more work over the time following up until this video you're watching tonight, but it just didn't happen. Uh, my, my grandfather took, he's been in uh, long-term care for quite some time now and he took a, a turn for the worse about a week ago. Of course, everything's a little bit out of time for, for when you're watching it, but uh, he just, just passed away. Uh, really recently and uh, of course my dad's taking that hard family's taking it hard I've talked about my grandfather before that's my dad's dad um, about I guess 11 years or so ago he was diagnosed with dementia after us noticing some uh, cognitive delays or cognitive degradation and uh, he hasn't really been with us for the last couple years anyways a man that uh, lived for the gospel almost in his entire life and uh, just lived an awesome life. What, what an incredible guy. I was really close with my pop nose really. That's again uh, my grandfather on my dad's side. My dad's dad really close with him growing up and uh, too bad that we, we lost him how he did. But at this point a man that uh, was living for the gospel it was it's, it's better for him to be to be gone. It's uh, it wouldn't be very fair to, to wish him back here at this point, would it? So I said I'd cover the inspection here. We've got a paper. We don't have our inspection sticker ready to stick on the window yet. It's sort of a pending inspection. Um, Todd and the guys at, uh, at Dempsey's there. Todd is the owner, the guy you've seen me mainly with there. Um, again, fantastic, incredible support from those guys. But we have sort of a, a pending inspection. So we have a list here of a few things, a few bushings and a couple different things like that. We have a, a sticky brake caliber that we have to address. We need new rear tires. The tires on there are a little dry rot. I was kind of expecting that. All pretty minor stuff considering this thing is 50 years old and it's sat for, uh, for about the last 10 years of its life. It is in very good shape. They were very impressed over at the garage and uh, it's exciting. I think they're very excited about the project. Dad and I will be getting back and diving back into this, but it might take a little time to get uh, get the content steamrolling out. I know I didn't have to come on at the end of the video and say this to you guys, but you guys have all been so diligent in your support. The sharing, the liking, the commenting, the comments have just been off the charts with this series. I can tell so many of you are really invested in the project and are excited to see it rolling. So I, I felt like I offered, or like I owed you guys some explanation why this is a shorter video. But I'll roll out with some content that we took just recently of the family preparing for our garden. That was uh, gardening, was one of Pop's greater passions in his old life when he retired. Uh, they had a phenomenal greenhouse and potato garden, carrot, all different types of things. Did a lot of berry picking. They just lived lived a beautiful life and there was nothing my grandfather loved more than uh, than his family his grandkids except maybe the gospel I'll throw that caveat in there but uh, us his his grandsons man he uh, he just treasured us so much and although he wasn't uh, really present at the time when I had my kids I'll tell you a really cool story right at the very end because of course with a disease like dementia your the delays increase and uh, and your cognitive presence declines and declines that's usually how it is and that's how it was for pop and he was basically at the point where he had no no he wasn't conscious anymore um his eyes could be open but he was completely blank but I remember one of the last times that I saw him actually give a cognitive response, a conscious response to something, was when I placed my uh, six, probably six month old baby in front of him. And that's my, my oldest girl now, my big girl. And when I placed that baby on his lap, and there, there was basically nothing in this world that he liked more than little babies. And when his eyes locked on this baby's face, and I know he didn't know that it was 
his grandson's baby, his great granddaughter. But when his eyes locked on her face and saw a little baby, I, actually, I think there's a picture around somewhere. I'll see if I can pull it up. But uh, just incredible. He knew, he knew what, what a gift and what privilege he was staring into the face of there. I'm a very blessed man. And the way you guys support me and my family. It's just uh, We'll see you in the next video.